So you're here because you want to learn how to run on Tor Bash. I'll keep the HUD on. So I hold C, I contract left hip, contract right hip, contract abs. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I need to generate power. I need to generate power so I need to contract my body inward like this so I can expand it outward to get my uh, speed. So I am um, on negative 30 gravity. I'm using the original Tories, the original Tory bodies, and I'm using 10 frames. So uh, I hit space once, hit space twice. All right, now I'm basically in this position. I'm ready to explode forward. So I extend both of my my hips. All right, when I explode my hips, I want to relax my arms, bring my arms down. I can also contract my uh, my elbows inward. So when my feet have made contact like this, I'm gonna wait one more. Boop. So now what I want to do is I want to take my first step. So this is what I look like right now: contracted elbows, uh, and then. Uh, extended hips and contracted ab so uh that's what that should look like so take my first step i usually start with my left but you could start with your right or your left hip depending you can just mirror it so i'm going to contract this left hip and i'm going to contract this left knee this is going to throw my foot forward like that start that motion now that i have that motion going hold all what hold all why am i holding all because um, I like to do a little reset here of my uh, Tory body. So I relax that foot so that stays uh, touching the ground. Relax that, relax that. And now I have this motion going on. So this is still staying in contact. So it's going to keep me you know, relatively straight. And then I let the momentum of my leg from the previous turn carry it forward with a relaxed hip and a relaxed knee. So I, uh, I usually space once there. Eh, not there yet there so that's a good spot that I feel like I want to step so I put that down like that comes down nice and flat I'm not walking on my heels I'm not walking on my toes so once I take that step I think I'm usually ready to contract I mean to relax that knee so with that being said I take a step boom and then I bring my next one forward contract that uh, foot so they can pass through so if you see your run is straight, you don't want to do too much to mess it up. It looks really good when you alternate your pecs left and right. What does that mean? It means when you contract and extend and then contract and extend. Kind of like how, how, how you would run in, in real life. You sway your arms back and forth. But I don't want to mess up my straight run. So instead of contracting my, uh, my arm, which kind of tilts me a little bit, I'm just going to relax it and I, st I still get the same effect. Uh, when you're in this position, if you want to slow down, you can extend your ankle, which will start to lift you up a little bit and slow down your momentum. If you want to speed up, you contract your ankle and it's going to kind of aim you a little bit more downward. See how extending kind of lifts my uh, torso up and contracting kind of keeps me uh, a little bit more down. That's basically it. If you want to learn how to keep your run going, well, I can't teach you that. There are so many different factors and variables like, that can happen in a mod that will change you know the the circumstance but that's how i start my run you can just go back and uh listen to the things i said and try to replicate it on yourself make sure that you are using a mod game rules that is using negative 30 gravity and make sure the model is the og uh, torvash model if you want to get better at running it's not just about memorizing the what what does that mean well it 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 means if you want to get better at running, you shouldn't just memorize what I just exactly taught you how to do, because that's not going to teach you how to get back into a run if you have landed from a high place, or maybe you just rolled, or maybe you just did a cartwheel or a backflip. How do you start a run from those situations? Well, it varies from person to person because no one does the exact same thing. So that's why I'm saying memorize the why. You know, if you memorize the what, that's only going to get you so far. But once you start learning why you need to move your body parts in a certain way, you'll be able to find a run from anywhere. You'll be able to get back into a run from anywhere. Once you learn why you need to use your ankles, why you need to learn how to keep your body at this angle, why you need to keep your arms down, why you need to kind of uh, alternate your pecs, all of these things, once you feel the why, you understand the why, You'll be able to make decisions on the fly and do it without even thinking about it. So, yeah.